Hello Gemini, welcome to your February reading. So I've already pre-laid some cards like usually and um, so we're gonna start right away. Okay, in the past or the underlying energy, we have seven of pentacles waiting time, a high priestess, nine of cups, and the Four of Wands. The way I see that, the Seven of Pentacles is, uh, it is waiting, but it's uh, tending our garden. We're, we're actually doing something. We're just not standing there and, and doing nothing. Uh, working, doing something. With the High Priestess, it's working a lot in uh, working on ourselves, working on our spirituality, working um, um, working on uh, with our intuition, uh, kind of putting our energy in that level, maybe rising our vibration or something like that, uh, using our intuition. And that brought uh, contentment, a wish fulfilled or something like that, that actually solidified your home or gave you a glimpse of um, uh, the solidity of your home. Your home can be your family, but your home is also yourself, your solidity, your groundness, uh, where you live, but also uh, your body, yourself, four of wands. It's a celebration. So there's that uh, working with spirituality that brought that wish that has something to do about your home, about yourself, about maybe uh, using your spiritual ability or something like that. In the now, we have Temperance, Eight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So Temperance can be a Sagittarius, but Temperance its that alchemy of life when the universe is preparing something there in the past you're using your spirituality maybe you're meditating and you're you're working on that level on what uh, brings you emotional fulfillment on the solidity of your home and uh, the universe in return is preparing something is mixing the alchemy of life mixing two cups together there guided by the divine it's not happening right away and as a Gemini where as soon as there's a delay and since you've been you know working a while on this feel stuck it's like if you know what the you feel what the universe is preparing for you but it's not happening right away and you feel stuck you, you want to make moves you want to make but the reality outside compared to the feeling you have inside hasn't matched yet the alchemy is being done now so you have that stuck feeling of I know what I want to do this is where I want to go I feel this should be happening but it's not happening now or I don't have the means to do what I feel I need to do so there's that stuckness uh, feeling uh, and you know Gemini being ruled by Mercury it's the fastest sign he goes up and down to heaven hell and earth to uh, is the messengers of the gods so when things are not uh, automatic it's easy for a Gemini to feel like that and with the six of cups that tells me that whatever is being prepared is is um, it's based on uh, pure emotions there's that maybe you've been healing a lot uh, emotions from the past and things like that because this is a past uh, card it's also like a soulmate card but it's the emotions of uh, of the past and sometimes uh, especially I see that you've been working on your spirituality a lot maybe you've been doing some shadow work you've been healing temperance is a healing card also 
you've been healing a lot um, events and past uh, things from the past emotions from the past to kind of purify that and find that um, youthful uh, feeling of faith of trust in the universe and things like that the outcome ace of cups there your cup is full it's uh, mended because if it was broken there it is mended and ready to receive it's the universe giving you that abundance of emotion peace grace after that we have the emperor maybe an emperor coming into your life or your masculine side being healed being strong being uh, in a strong position we'll see if this is a relationship and then there's that uh, youthful energy uh, communication passionate communication coming your way maybe from an emperor but there was work to be done before and healing to be done before to be ready to have a cup capable of absorbing that energy or dealing with an emperor. So we're going to clarify some cards here. Call upon the light. I call upon my guides. I call upon spirit. Let me clarify this reading for Gemini, February. Whoops. Okay, I was looking at the Empress. Oh, yeah. The Tower and the Magician. So, the Tower will destroy what is no longer needed, what uh, was hindering you, what was uh, hurting you or... Um, uh, preventing you to be at uh, the best you can be and here that's taking full control and having the power of manifestation but at least this is good because this is manifesting but from solid because all that work that inner work that intuition that um, working on your spirituality on everything that is etheric in your life emotions are etheric um, past experiences traumas or things like that um, that would have hindered you that would have given you uh, beliefs like let's say if you had like bad relationships or you were abandoned in the past or something like that that needs to be healed those beliefs need to crumble if you want to uh, be able to manifest uh, powerfully and manifest things that are really good for you and not like self-fulfilling prophecies of uh, of uh, let's say if your belief is that people don't stick around or you give more than you receive you're gonna manifest from that but having the tower here after spiritual working like that on your spirituality on uh, by meditation or whatever that that is very good it's crumbling those things that are that were false the tower only crumbles what is false and there with the magician beside that means <coughs> your capacity to manifest is there okay talk to me about the four of wands Four of Wands. Here we have conflict and we have the Two of Swords. So there in your home, <coughs> if we were talking about your physical home, uh, your family, um, uh, you know, what, what is in your house, or even what is your house, if we're thinking that your home is your body, yourself, there was conflict. And here, a decision, those two realities, those two swords, one has to be taken. It's under the moon, like the high priestess rules the moon. So it, we're still in shadow work here. So there was conflict, it could be inner conflict, 
in your home yourself or it could be uh, maybe you were living conflict in your house surroundings and there you had to take a decision of what will be your reality what will be your truth relying not on what you see because you don't have uh, all the evidence relying only on your intuition the moon only uh, on what you feel so that's why that before that it's good that the tower arrived so that your decision is not based on false beliefs or um, or um, uh, things like that it's gonna be on a real intuition to end those conflicts when we create because you do have the magician here and when we create it's important to be aligned inside and outside in the sense of what you believe and what you want often is not the same thing we think it's the same thing I want a real relationship in my life but if inside because of the experiences you had in the past your belief your unconscious belief is that uh, that cannot be possible for you that is what you're gonna create again if you believe that uh, uh, men don't commit or uh, that uh, women uh, don't really care then that's what you're gonna attract and that's what it's gonna be a self-fulfilling prophecy again and again so that's why here that inner conflict between your beliefs and what you want you have to only remain one reality out of the two these are two uh, swords of truth they cannot coexist at the same time it's a paradox you know so you're gonna drop one you're gonna stick with only one truth to manifest correctly talk to me about temperance what is temperance preparing for Gemini what is temperance preparing for Gemini Oh, bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Swords. Uh, and the Nine of Swords, we know it's all our anxiety, our worries, our inner de demons coming up, you know? So these, this can be your inner demons. And you cannot manifest from uh, an anxiety space. You don't want to man. You can, but you don't want to manifest from an anxiety space. Temperance. Talk to me about temperance. Temperance for Gemini. Why is temperance their spirit? You want to talk about it now? Okay. Talk to me about the Eight of Swords. What is that feeling? Why is Gemini feeling stuck now? Uh, it has to do with an earth sign or maybe with your stability. Uh, this is communication, but if you're feeling stuck it's either because you've heard something from an earth sign or because you haven't heard something from an earth sign or you haven't you don't have the information or what you need you don't have that little sort of truth for your stability maybe for your work if you're self-employed uh, for your uh, career and things like that if it's love then it's uh, about maybe you're interested or uh, you have a link with this uh, earth sign this king of uh, pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn 
you need it's like if you need to learn more about the situation you need to understand it um, and that's what the page does the page communicates but he also learns he studies he is uh, inquisitive he wants to know he wants to understand and and that is making you stuck probably because you have the lack of understanding or you lack information about that situation with uh, that Taurus Virgo Capricorn person if he's a boss maybe if we're talking about work here maybe you're waiting for news about a job about a promotion about something and uh, you're lacking the information of uh, uh, what is happening and that is putting you in a stuck position what do I do you know do I still wait do I move on do I mm -mm -mm? and they're all, all the swords putting you in that uh, stuck position six of a cups six of cups for Gemini six of cups what's the six of cups what's the six of cups Free spirit. Oh, okay. We have the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So that could be. Uh, a soulmate union something like that that would change your life that would um, change the conditions of your life here right now since the eight of swords is in the middle here maybe you are still stuck but that six of cup that link that uh, a vibrational emotional link that you have here, the King of Cups, maybe with a, a water sign. If that wasn't the Earth sign, it could be a water sign. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, um, and Cancer. But also, the King of Cups is a man that feels deeply, but sometimes doesn't express it. Uh, keeps it for himself. But here we do have the Two of Cups, that union two of cups and six of cups that looks like a soulmate that looks like a soulmate and here are the wheel of fortune maybe when you're gonna hear news from that king of pentacles then things are going to uh, really change but you had some healing to do in the past okay are you gonna talk about whoops okay temperance now they're ready to talk about temperance uh, and we have the hangman and the knight of cups so what is temperance preparing you know she's what is the alchemy of life preparing there for you healing there the pause eight of swords you do feel stuck and it's an imposed stuckness by the universe so for you to get that enlightenment that other vision uh, about this situation and it is preparing the coming of that offer of love that nine of knight of cups coming towards you because i was asking what is temperance preparing she's preparing that love that cup to come towards you and she's also preparing and working you tempering you know working you with all that spiritual work you did bef in the past there removing the inner conflict between your beliefs and what you what you want in life there you needed that enlightenment that's what temperance was working on to prepare you for a real union something solid king of pentacles can represent uh, somebody solid that would be there for you that would take care of you king of cups can represent the archetype of someone that feels deeply that doesn't have king of cups went through all the cups he masters his emotions so it it's not like flaky 
it's not I love you tomorrow, but uh, I don't know about uh, um, three days from now or whatever. I love you today, but I don't know about tomorrow. It's uh, solid. His, uh, his chair is on a cement base that goes all the way to the bottom of the sea. He's not like wavery. Okay, Ace of Cups. What's that Ace of Cups? I think this is love. Or if it's work, it's something you're gonna really, really love. And it's something that is in your soul's path to do with the Six of Cups there. Two of Cups associating with, with uh, people that... Uh, will really understand you and you will understand them to create something or to work with if we're talking about work but this looks a lot like um like love ace of cups but since this is a general reading and there are a lot of people out there uh, you're all gonna live that on different levels like uh, uh, some of you will be uh, meeting someone new like that like if you're single if you're married it's moving up to a new level because you've worked on yourself and you're rediscovering your husband there and if it's work then that's what I was explaining about um, finding your true purpose because you worked on yourself you brought down with the tower uh, your fears or the wrong beliefs about your capacity, what you can create, what you can do in life. Your purpose became clear and now you're bringing your heart and you're going to meet somebody to be able to uh, work and do that. That is, if that is, we're talking about work. Okay, Ace of, uh, Ace of Cups for Gemini. What's that Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups. What's that Ace of Cups? We have the Queen of Swords and the uh, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, he went to war, okay? He's the wounded warrior. If we talk, because we're talking about love here, you were hurt in the past. You're defensive. He's on his guard. Queen of Swords. She was hurt in the past. That's the queen that was hurt in the past. Okay? She went through the Three of Swords and all of that. And she turned her pain into wisdom. That's why we, you have the butterflies. Butterflies is air, thoughts. But the butterflies were caterpillars before, went into the cocoon and transform. It is the transformation of the pain into wisdom. So that Ace of Cup is um, a clear um, emotional. You're, you're in a position where you won't be fooled or hurt anymore. She, she cannot be fooled. She cannot be taken advantage of. Because she's got that sort of truth here. She has one sword. She's creating from one truth. One reality. And she's welcoming what is coming in front of her. Here, cup. Are you for real? I can see through you. She's the no BS queen. I can see through that water to see if it's murky waters or whatever. And if it's pure water, she's going to welcome it. But uh, she's not going it into it like a, like a fool or uh, just being emotional or, or anything like that. And not out of need either. She's going into it clear-headed because she was hurt in the past. And she's a bit defensive. So maybe uh, you're going to be a bit on your guard when that cup is coming. And you're going to be like the Queen of Swords. Really? What do you really have to offer me? Is it, is it exactly uh, to my worth? You're going to be clear about it. The Emperor. What is that Emperor? What is that Emperor Spirit?
Three of Swords. Maybe somebody that hurt you in the past. Give me another card. Maybe that's why you're the Queen of uh, Swords there looking at that cup from that Emperor. Why is the Tree of Swords there? King of Swords. Yeah. You're looking at uh, that Emperor. That It's probably somebody that, that did hurt you in the past. But you're looking at it uh, from uh, King of Swords. Yeah, here we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. They uh, overcame the tree, the tree of uh, the Tree of Swords. That pain, they overcame it, and they're very clear-headed about it. A lot of swords. We have the Knight of Swords under there. What's the Princess of Wands? much mm, yeah that's too much okay just one or two if they have to come out they're gonna come out again But the wheel of fortune could be something coming back around. See, the wheel turns and turns. What's what's that page? Here we have the seven of pentacles again. What you were waiting and tending. Maybe you were waiting for that communication. Another one. What's going to come out of this? What's going to come out of this communication? Gemini's been waiting for passionate communication. Give me another one. Can't leave that like that. Oh. There's another lot of cards here, but oh, here we have Temperance again. I don't know if you saw with the reflection. So, Temperance again, Emperor again, so that communication waiting, it's really about that Emperor, but we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, working, but compared to the Seven, Seven, Eight, Seven, you're working and you're not seeing really results, but with the Eight, you're seeing results bringing you to a cross point that communication is going to open an opportunity for you where you're going to have to take a decision we have the ten of uh, cups ten of pentacles ten of cups and the hermit going within to make that decision you're going to have to go within and find your light be guided by your light be guided by your intuition here that you work so much on your spirituality Virgo sign and that Emperor here that tells me I was waiting a long time for that communication there's that Emperor with the 
the family there, the, the Ten of Pentacles. That's what we want. It's the legacy. It's the solidity of the Pentacles. Um, now I'm starting to see results on all the work I've been doing. All the work I've been doing on myself. All the work I've been doing, uh, maybe working per se, if we're talking about work here. That, and we're, this is all about the communication here. It's going to open up a fork in the road where I'm going to have to make a decision, go inside to take that decision for my grand happiness. So it's asking you to listen to your intuition because this, has, this communication can have a lot of... Uh, Beautiful possibilities, ten of cups, ten of pentacles. But it's you're gonna have to listen to your intuition about it. You're healing again, you know. The the alchemy preparing that for you, preparing an emperor. And uh with the Three of Swords here, there was disappointment and things like that. But with the King on top of it, there's a clarity of what you accept and what you don't accept. And so, he, if he's a negative Emperor, he won't be able to pass one on you. Not with the King and the Queen of uh, Swords there. He's going to be cut right off. But there's that communication after with the Emperor. So I think it's um, I think it's someone that maybe hurt you in the past, disappointed you, or you were hoping for some things that didn't happen with with that emperor, because of all that waiting and working on yourself and the alchemy was so long to prepare, feeling stuck. So there was disappointment here. There was disappointment. Or if you have met in the past, things weren't ready, so it didn't work out. Maybe it died before it started, or it started a bit and just didn't, uh, you know, uh, broke off. There, there was pain. There was pain there. But it's someone that you feel very uh, connected to. Very connected to. And we do have the Ace of Cups there. And that's why there's so many temperances, because you have some healing to do. It could be about... Uh, like if you met him before you did that work on yourself, you could have created uh, that it didn't work. And maybe he had to do some stuff on his side too. It's always like that. And sometimes we have a glimpse of someone... And it's just not the right time. Divine timing, that's another meaning of temperance. Divine timing. Because things weren't ready. You weren't ready, they weren't ready. Caused pain. But now you're, you're at your ultimate air sign. Queen of Swords, uh, King of Swords. That's the best you can be. Clear-headed and strong in uh, your beliefs and strong in what is acceptable and not acceptable and that can be felt and the reality will mold itself to that if you are strong in your belief like uh, um, if you're used used to having people that took advantage of you once that belief that uh, that people can do that to you once you don't believe it anymore, that you don't deserve that, that you deserve to be uh, loved and cared for uh, with, uh, equally, uh, and that becomes your true belief, even in your unconscious, then people that, abusers, don't even look at you twice. It's not in your reality anymore. So that is what is happening with that emperor here. It will not be in your reality anymore. And you will follow your inner light because there's beautiful, beautiful happiness for you in the future. It's going to be a decision. Uh, it could be all about work also. Same thing, you know, working for people that don't uh, appreciate what you're doing to the just value of what you're doing. It can be the same, the same thing if we're talking about work here and not a relationship. Emperor can be a boss can be uh, 
uh, you know, a CEO, a president, whatever. And there's that no more bullshit, no more disappointment uh, with the, this uh, archetype. Whether in work or in love. Being appreciated, fruitful, happy and strong sitting. So that is your reading, Gemini. Uh, congratulations for all the work you did on yourself because that is a lot of inner work there. And it's not easy. And um, so, kudos to you. I'm going to do a love reading that I'm going to put on Vimeo. I'm uh, working on the kinks right now because I'm not very computer savvy, as it's quite obvious. <laughs> so... I hope you get it and I know that this might be a bit late because um, I live in the woods I'm a witch in the woods and uh, the the internet here is so slow that it takes like 11 hours to upload a, a video so I have to go somewhere and anyway it's complicated I hope you'll get it in time but uh, when you get it is when you you uh, you're meant to see it so namaste I love you and uh, see you either on Vimeo, if I succeed, or uh, next month. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>